there are always contradictory things. The same bush which has the beautiful rose flower with its soft and gentle and aromatic and colorful petals. It also has the thorns. Now the flower, people put it on their coats. Pandit Nehru used to put it and everybody would praise. Now if somebody puts thorns on their coat, people will say, what's wrong with him? It is the same plant, but there's such a huge difference between one part of it and the other. Likewise, this whole world is full of dualities. There will be success and failure. You will get fame and infamy. Praise will come your way. And criticism will also come your way. So now how to handle this situation alike? Don't make a big deal. Don't take the world too seriously. As somebody said, you're not going to come out of here alive in any case. Why take it so seriously? I am reminded of that couple. They were encouraged to go for the first time to the race course. So their friend took them and he said, take some money with you. They took $2,000 to try their luck. And they understood how these races are happening. They started betting on the different horses in the different races and kept on losing until they had only $2 left. So they went back. The $2,000 had gotten depleted to $2. The next day, the husband had this inspiration. He told his wife, let me go once again. I am taking the $2. Wife said, all right, go. He took the $2 with him. And he bet it on one race. The horse won. It multiplied and then again multiplied. He was having his lucky day. His money increased to $57,000. Now he was walking home with $57,000. He was feeling the seventh heaven. On the way was a casino. So he got this inspiration that, you know, here's your chance to multiply it further. He walked into the casino and he had to put his, so he put all of it on uh, lucky for some, number 13. So it span around, spun around and it came to 14. So he lost everything. He went back home. His wife said, what happened? He said, I lost the $2. <laughs> so come to think of it, that is what we will lose in any case. Provided we understand that the happiness I am seeking is not here. That happiness which will truly fulfill me is inside. And it will come by becoming a better person, by going closer to God. So in the victory and defeats of the world, it, it is not as important as I think it is going to be. That maturity must come within us.